What's up, guys? Welcome to Mistover. So, uh, Mistover is basically anime meets Darkest Dungeon. <clears throat> I apologize if my voice sounds a little rough. I uh, just recently got over being sick. But uh, anyway, Mistover. Oh, I played the demo for about uh, two hours or something like that a while back. Lots of fun. Um, and I've just recently got in contact with the devs again. Uh, and requested a review copy. The first time they sent me one, it was for Steam, so I couldn't use that, obviously. So I had to get in contact with them again about exchanging the codes for a PlayStation 4 version. They got back to me, said, hey, sweet, here you go. Uh, we look forward to your videos, yada, yada, yada. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get started on a new game, shall we? Uh, from what I can tell, demo progress does not transfer over to the main game, so if that was something that you had done... Uh, yeah, sorry, you're gonna have to start over. Not that big a deal, though. But anyway, uh, let's get into it. A lot of the mechanics and whatnot are going to be fairly uh, straightforward, so I won't have to explain too much. I'm going to be reading out a lot of this dialogue as well, so... Arta, a small kingdom on the edge of the continent, was once plagued by the threat of destruction when a massive vortex appeared nearby. This pillar of despair, as it came to be called, nearly brought about the end of the world. It all started a few years ago when a thick mist emanating from the vortex began sweeping across the land. From its depths emerged tremendous creatures known as espers. The mist slowly ate away the land, leaving a trail of decay in its wake, while the espers destroyed everything in their path. Many kingdoms lay in ruin and countless lives were lost. Just when all hope seemed lost, everything suddenly stopped. The mist no longer spread and the espers crawled back into their impenetrable depths. Nevertheless, people feared that the danger would return. Convinced that the cause of this horror lay inside the vortex, people started venturing into the mist, hoping to unveil its mystery. Before long, an official expedition corps was founded to explore the vortex. They soon discovered it was a passageway to worlds existing in different dimensions. To better gather intelligence, the Expedition Corps recruited more members. People from far and wide ventured to Arta for wealth, glory, and whatever else their hearts desired. You come to your senses, your head throbbing. In front of you stands a forest, blanketed in mist, full of mysteries that emanates an aura of death. How did you get here? You're trying to remember. But you're ripped from your thoughts when you hear something dash through the thick forest coming straight at you. Dot dot dot. And then you see them. Hideous monsters that look like oversized beetles. These disgusting creatures let out a wretched shriek, as if they're about to attack at any moment. They are definitely foes, not friends. Looks like you'll need to fight them. All right. So as you can see, it has a very unique art style, uh, especially when compared to other games. However, it does somewhat resemble something like uh, <clears throat> Darkest Dungeon. So uh, hey, if, if that's your cup of tea, uh, I think you'll like it. Uh, the battle grid takes place over 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 nine squares in your region. Uh, so if I go to move, you can see where it's kind of set up. This will take up my turn, so I'm not going to move. But, uh, yeah. So it's three by three. Same thing for the enemy. They can all move freely on their turns. We can move on our turns and so on and so forth. This goes into positioning as far as the, the skills that you have available. And uh, there are certain places you can stand in correlation to other characters, which will unlock new abilities later on. But for now, let's just go ahead and uh, fight. So we've got our skills. You can see on the right-hand side if it costs any mana. In the middle, you can see where you have to be positioned in your row, which are the white squares as opposed to the gray squares. And you can see which of the enemy's side of their grid it can attack. So say, for instance, if I choose Sting Hard, I can attack the first two rows, but not the third row of the enemies, and it costs 15 mana. So let's go ahead and choose this. We can attack any of these guys. Um, now, if you're looking in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see one of the enemy portraits is moving up and down. If I move to other ones, 
you can see that those ones are going. That is the turn order. So depending on what move you're using, like if you're using a stunning ability, you might want to do that. Um, does this character have a stun ability? It does not look like it. No, it does not. So we'll just go with some damage. <laughs> the sister's a funny character. She's your healer, support class, and whatnot. Um, she's actually got some pretty good skills. Uh, okay, so these skills, just like Darkest Dungeon, are randomly chosen on your characters. Um, from a, a pool of skills, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's just go ahead and heal everybody. More of a band-aid than anything, but that's fine. Okay, what do we got here? So we can actually make it so that we can taunt the enemies, but I think we should just focus on damage for now. Yeah. Yeah, let's just focus on taking down... Oh, guard. Killing me, dog. So, same thing. Go ahead and heal everybody again. I don't know if we can choose... No, I can't. Um, I was trying to see if I could open up the options and uh, go ahead and speed up the battle animations, because there's a way that you can do that in the options, but I can't do that just yet, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's just keep trying to kill this guy. Uh, so a lot of my abilities would be great if I wasn't in the front row. Yeah. We'll kill this one, then we'll focus on repositioning. Don't really have a whole lot of options here. Don't need to heal, so let's just uh, get started on the next one. I'm going to go ahead and use Provoke. Force the enemies, or try to force the enemies into attacking that character. We're going to go ahead and move back. This would be great if the enemies were lined up with each other, but they're not, so we'll do this. Right now, this is probably one of my more powerful attacks that I have. I do have to move the character back, though, manually, in order to use it again. That's dangerous. I would rather not lose my healer. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna have to move. You hate to see it. Yeah, alright.
The smartest thing to do would probably to be to heal my healer. I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, we're okay. <clears throat> Pretty rough first fight, but hey, what do you expect? After the defeated monsters, you feel exhausted, but there is no time to rest. More are coming. Enemies continue to surge forth from the mist. So many that you don't stand a chance. Your eyes gloss over. Is this the end? Suddenly, a group of armed men appear. They attack the monsters with their swords and spears. Reinvigorated, you rush forward to fight alongside them, and in a matter of moments, all the monsters lay slain or dying. One of your savers, perhaps the leader, steps forward. You're trying to answer his question, but struggle. You realize that part of your memory is missing. Uh, キリノモリで記憶をなくし発見される人がそんな人たちのことを失踪者と呼んでいるんだ。記憶が不規則に消えると言っていたが、君らはなぜここに来たのかを忘れてしまったようだな。まず町に降りよう。キリノモリは危険
Yeah, the flu has been kicking around here too. Oh, that sucks, Dozer. Been uh, going through hand sanitizer by the quart. Hey, be careful with that stuff. It ends up killing the good bacteria along with the bad bacteria. よし。では調査するべきだが、その前に経験を積んでもらおう。では、今後に関しては捨てらから教えてもらうように。初調査、幸運を祈り。not a crusader. What is this and why does it look so good? <laughs> this is Mistover. It's uh, very similar in vain to the uh, the game Darkest Dungeon, if you've ever played that. Um, it's just, it's anime Darkest Dungeon. Straight up. This fucking guy. <laughs> he doesn't look like a mark. <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> Upon being scolded by the old man, the soldier quickly runs off with a shriek. Is this old man drunk? He reeks of alcohol and you catch sight of a few empty bottles sprawled across the tables nearby. <laughs> Did this man say it's me Dio in Japanese? <laughs> Pretty much. Kono Dio da! I just... Yeah, see, I could see him yelling that. Why not? Why is it everything you do on the internet, there's always a reference to JoJo? <laughs> uh, in response to his rudely asked question, you tell him you came here because of Duke Heinrich. What's <laughs> He has only agreed to comply after thinking for a long while, and you can tell he has done so reluctantly. Oh, the name for my core crew. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with the name I chose for uh, the demo. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. <laughs> Funny name, yeah, right. No clue why I picked that name for my, my demo crew. I just did. Okay, let's do this. So, very similar to Dark's Dungeon. You, you pick your people and you go. It's just, yeah. Um, you can't choose the skills that they have just yet. Uh, so yeah, this is actually the first time I've seen a Ronin. That's kind of cool. You should have. It was me, Dio. <laughs> Kono Dio da. <laughs> for, my, for my crew name. That'd be pretty good. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? This is actually a pretty decent setup for this sister, so we'll go ahead and definitely get her. I mean, we're gonna get, like, all of these. But, uh, yeah. Paladin... So this is a paladin that doesn't have provoke, which I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, she does have shield shock. 
and uh, you can go into the details of all of these various... Like, I'd like to have Provoke, just because, well, she can tank. Ah, uh, but the stun is decent. And the ability for her to recover is nice, too. Shadowblade is the edgiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> she doesn't even look that edgy, to be completely honest. Oh, what do we got here? Stinghard... Uh, da, 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 da. So she has the move forward ability. Mm. Doesn't have snake eyes. I like having snake eyes. Not a bad choice. Edgelord 100. Level up in Skyrim. Yes. Now, like I said, this is the first time I've seen a Ronin, so this is kind of interesting. Okay, so that's a bleeding attack. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's not a bleeding attack. Okay. Recover damage. Or recover HP according to the damage inflicted. Uh, he could actually you be used as our, our tank character. If I use this correctly, because this, is, this ability will make it so that uh, enemies will attack him. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, this one will also do it. So these two kind of cancel each other out as far as the use, but... I could see this being pretty useful. Yeah, he's kind of a berserker character, it looks like. Can do more damage based on his HP. Okay. Alright, interesting. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to get him. I could, I could see using him pretty effectively. And the witch. What has she got right now? She can reduce the evade chance. Dispel all buffs on an enemy. Could be useful. Hmm. Kind of neat. Right now, probably the only one that's not doing it for me is the Shadow Blade. But, yeah. Getting them all anyway. Uh, this game's $30. What do they think I'm made of? Money? <laughs> uh. Those are all right. Time to strap on the Beretta and head to work. I'll watch the stream later when I get off. Good to see you're feeling better. See you soon. See you later, Dozer. You take care. Stay safe out there, all right? I'd like to see you back in my stream. Dang it. <laughs><笑> You'd have to not buy McDonald's for three whole days? Wow. Sorry, Crusader, I know. I'm going to be completely honest with you, and you might hate me for this, Crusader, but, um, I hate McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, okay, Crusader, you could, and this is crazy, I know, but you could make your own food. <laughs> Mac and cheese is crazy easy to make, and it's super duper filling, and the ingredients only cost, like, it's fucking 15 bucks maybe and that and you can make food for like a couple days off of that <laughs> little little kissy pouty face you have no self-control. Well, well, you know what? Okay. This is going to sound 
sound dumb, but I mean, you don't sound that old. No offense, no offense. So I mean, now is a great time for you to be learning this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try. Lenny, don't do that. You're setting up flags, man. You're gonna get yourself set up for death. Alright, so we are donezo here. Let's head to shop. <laughs> you spend way too much on a weeb shit. <laughs> you only spend way too much on a hobby if it starts interfering with your daily expenses like food and living and internet. <laughs> Otherwise, you know what? Spend all the money on your weep shit as much as you want, man. I'm not gonna judge you for that. I spend money on, like, video games and manga and shit like that, but, you know, to that token, I, I'm not in a, you know, a relationship, so I don't have to worry about buying, you know, shit for that. I don't have any kids, so I don't have to worry about buying stuff for them. Like, I'm not married, so, you know, it is what it is. Thankfully, you haven't had to skip lunch before to buy something. Well, then you're doing fine, Crusader. I mean, if you haven't had to skip meals to indulge in your hobby, then you're, you're good. You're in a better place than a lot of people. It's like, uh, just the other day, I literally bought two bookcases to, to hold my manga collection because I ran out of space. That's the most... Like, that's the most adult thing that I've had to do to support my very unadult thing that I do. <laughs> uh, well, I have, uh, but those were optional and I wasn't hungry. If you weren't hungry, you don't have to eat. And who says you have to eat multiple times a day? I only eat, like, once a day. But that's just because I've gotten used to it. But hey, you know what? I'm saving money. <laughs> Crusader, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I love all the voice acting in this game. The voice acting is top-notch. And it's so... The contrast between the voice actors and their delivery of their lines to the atmosphere uh, and what the game is trying to convince is... Or, or, or yeah, it, it's it's... It's a great contrast. Like, the gap is there, and I love it. But you know what else saves money? What's that, Crusader? Some foods and some potions and all that. We'll go ahead and buy some some food, and that is it. Uh, if you drink a gallon of gasoline, you'll have enough calories so that you don't have to eat for the rest of your life. I mean, that's true. You could also set yourself on fire. That way, you'll be warm for the rest of your life as well. You know, on uh, on that note, are technically true. You turn around and see Linny approaching. She seems to be in a good mood. You betcha, Linny. <laughs> oh, Crusader. She's gonna betray you, I guarantee it. <laughs> hey, no way, man. Fanged girls, they'll never betray you, alright? They're wholesome and they need to be protected. Fuck the fang, you would, Crusader. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Crusader just hit me with one of those one of those bra moments. <laughs><笑> Bye bye. Okay, so let's uh, head off to the pier here. We've only got one little area to do. Tutorial Every week, a different dungeon opens in each area. Dungeons have different names, sizes, and monster levels. The rewards you can get for clearing them also vary. Check the descriptions of available dungeons and evaluate the core crew members that you have or you currently have to decide which dungeon to clear. Uh. <laughs> Crusader, I'm not a fur if I don't have a fur suit. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think that's true. All right, so obviously we're gonna go to you know obviously the hostile guardians. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do that. That's just a dangerous thing. So as you can see, there's various armors and things that we can get. Um, you don't get those from completing the actual dungeon. You get them by finding a treasure chest in the dungeon. So let's go ahead and pick this, and obviously we're going to change our formation. Tutorial, when you're creating a party, it's very important to consider the position of each core crew member. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, position is important, yada, yada. Let's just, it's easier to just show you. Okay. So, as you can see, very similar to Darkest Dungeon. There's going to be a lot of comparisons to Darkest Dungeon. Um... You can see the relative strengths of the positioning in the upper right-hand corner, where the white squares are the largest and the red squares are also the largest. So, if you see uh, on our witch here, uh, the two squares on the left mean she's strongest in the back, or in the number one and number two position, as opposed to the number three position. Uh, Crusader, being attracted to uh, women wearing full armor with weapons isn't a furry thing. Um, who said it was? <laughs> Anyway, so we're going for our, our forward pit-facing position. It's probably going to be Galahad and Musashi here. So let's go ahead and see what he's got. He's only got two moves right now that are better for the second position. Right now, yeah, no, actually, he's better in the in the second position. He can use all of his moves in the second position. So let's see. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, Holy Smite Cross can't be used from the first position, but that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and throw her here. Ah, uh, let's see. Our witch, where are we gonna put our witch? She can use everything except for Wild Surge. Now, what does a Wild Surge do? Give yourself an ignore position MP buff. Give yourself a 25% speed increase buff. That's all right, but not particularly necessary, so we'll go ahead and do that. Our sister is going to be all the heals. Not really going to super duper care about her attack, but it looks like a second position would actually be pretty good for her. Let's do that. And our Shadow Blade is going to be... looks like a second position as well. Uh, is there a Crusader in this game? Uh, I don't think there's a Crusader per se. The closest would probably be the Paladin. But yeah. Alright. Expedition bag, let's go ahead and grab all this food, all these, all these, okay. There's a, there's a number of classes which uh, I don't have. We'll uh, probably see them eventually. Okay, would you like to go through the expedition tutorial? No, I would not. Okay. Now, every character that you have has certain abilities. Um, we can actually press L1 to change them, and they will all have different things that are labeled on the X button, uh, and they will do different thingies. So let's see uh, if I... Let me see if I can change something here. 
Okay, so if I go down to... Here we go. This one right here. Uh, this, with, with the little the footprints up there, this is your ability when you're on the expedition map. This is Prayer of Blessing. If my sister is the leader, then when moving during exploration, uh, healing power is increased by 200%. It's very useful if you just got out of a fight. Uh, it does cost food to utilize. Then if we check out, uh, say, her... Um, our Shadow Blade gives us the ability to hide for 15 turns. This is useful when you have to uh, avoid enemies, which we will see enemies, and I will go into all that. These are traits. We'll get into that later. Uh, let's see. I think hers is, yeah, time stop. Stop time and immobilize nearby enemies. It's pretty, pretty neato. And then we've got... Crush Obstacles, which is one of our more useful ones. I don't know what his does, though. Uh, you can move multiple steps at once. Movement stops if you encounter an obstacle or an enemy. Oh, cool. That's how we're though. Exactly, Crusader. Exactly. You understand. Okay. So let's go ahead and stick with Galahad here. And, yeah. We've got to explore this map. So let's get going. All right, so this uh, treasure chest does require a key to open. Hey, sweet. Didn't need that, but cool. Cool. You want to activate all these items that you find because there are some pretty powerful ones that you can get. Uh... Uh, bro, Dio could fuck with so many people just by taking their shit and moving it slightly. Not gonna lie, if I had the ability to freeze time, I would do stupid little things like that all the time. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, this little guy right here will actually, uh, replenish, uh, some of your luminosity, which you need. Oh, sweet. Got some gold. Thank you. Okay, there's the exit. That little portal there. Oh, and there's also a uh, <clears throat> shortcut to replenishing your food and your luminosity. Hold L2, it'll be on your square triangle and all that stuff. So, very, very useful. No. We need to complete 80% of this whole deal. You can move diagonally. If you hold R1, you need to be positioned in specific ways, though. But it can save you some time. So let's uh, eat some food, get some luminosity going. Okay, so we found a key. Oh, we found two keys. We actually found the gold key, which is very, very good. And that right there, that's an enemy. A pretty powerful enemy, too. You can judge it by the size. And that is a red enemy, where if that red enemy sees us, he will start to chase us. Okay, a bunch of keys down here. Uh, those bushes that we can get into, those will actually... Uh, oh, okay, there's an enemy that wants to... wants to wrestle. Now, when an enemy sees you like this, you do actually want to be the one to move into them. That uh, means you start the attack first, so you get uh, priority. Uh, we will not go through the battle tutorial. I think we are okay. Use the Um No, because you actually want to fight the enemies the first time around. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, Stingheart will move us forward one, give us the ability for various other things, or we could go ahead and do this. I will use this time stop for you, Crusader, just to show it off. Okay. Uh, I could decrease the evade. Chaos Blast is actually potentially good. Uh, or not. If there's an enemy in the middle, it would be. Which I could have made that work. Oh well. It is what it is. Um, For now, let's just attack you. Okay, calm down. 
All right, now I don't know how he actually accumulates his abilities, his SP points as it is. It's probably through attacks or something like that. No clue. So let's just see if this works. Yes, okay. One basic attack gives him one SP. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Getting lucky on the misses. Ooh, and then we get hit with a nasty crit. Gross. And a move? Man, really, really doing me dirty like that, huh? So let's stun this guy up. Let's go ahead and... Mm. Go ahead and just heal. Uh, this would actually be better, though. Hey, calm it down. Alright, unfortunately, in this position, all I've really got is the one maneuver. But, on my next turn, I can do this, and that will force the position change. Don't really have a whole lot... Could do this. Will it move one tile back or forward? I don't know. Looks like forward. Yeah, okay. That, that works out pretty well, actually. <clears throat> Alright, so yet again. Now I can use this and attack all of them. Stop it. Cut it out. Oh, that sucks. Can't do anything back here. Oh, let's see. Let's make him bleed. did 13 instead of uh, 14. Dang. Feels bad, man. Alright. We did it. Yippee skippy. A lot of gold. Crew member is bleeding. Yes, yes, I know. I don't have any bandages, though, so it's not that big a deal. Alright, so if I actually switch over to Maria here and use this ability... It should heal all of our people. Okay, so where were those other chests? Right now, if you look in the top right-hand corner, you can see the number of keys we have. We've got one, two, three... Three wood or copper. Right now we've got one silver chest on the map. We have the gold key, but we haven't found the gold chest yet. This is fine. Ah, another enemy. So unfortunately, this guy's gonna follow us around, so let's just head for these chests. Uh, have I heard of Noita? Yes, yes, I'm very interested in playing it, um, if it ever comes out for console. Which, I don't think they've planned for it yet. Oh nice, found some werewolf armor. Don't have a werewolf yet. But, uh, we found one for the, uh, Omyoji, which is a pretty, pretty neat support character. So 
you want to be careful about your remaining supplies. You can actually swap over. Alright, so these are the items that you see on the beginning of the, uh, the actual expedition. Uh, okay, so this game versus Noida, which is the better buy? It really depends on what kind of a game you're looking for. Um, I think it's kind of a... Uh, we're all out of... all out of those, unfortunately. Okay, so we gotta wrap this up. There's another silver key. Alright, well, the recovery is fine. Yep, I know. My luminosity's super duper going down. All right. Well, undoubtedly... Ah, the monsters got us first. Oh, no! <laughs> this is a bad fight. We could die here. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, we could die here. We're probably gonna lose a member. Don't. Okay. Well, yeah. We need the 61. It's gonna be that. Uh, if a member dies, they are gone for good, yes. Oh, man. That is tough. All right. I guess we'll just try to focus one of these guys down. Oh, we'll leave my witch alone. Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's... That's real dangerous. And I gotta get all our people back into the right position. Oh, that sucks. everybody is also a decent idea. Uh, let's see. To be honest, I really like how this game looks, but I think Noita would let me have more fun. That's true. That's true. I mean, I think they're both good, good purchases. Okay. That'll move us forward one, but I need to start putting on some damage. So we'll deal with it. That guy's potentially one attack away from dying. Oh god, please don't kill my witch. Stop. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. damage to both of these guys. Might as well. Oh, I missed. Damn it. And they've got a chance to counter. some damage while possible. He can't do anything here. Oh my god. That position change screwed us up real bad. Not gonna lie. Let's just block for now. Uh, 
I need to move him though. Yeah. Man, this is a rough fight for the beginning of the game. <laughs> Straight up. These two need healing. Like something fierce. Is this a really bad encounter? Yeah, this is a pretty bad encounter for the point that I'm at in the game. Not gonna lie. Like, normally you fight one of these, like, green shelled guys. They gave us two. It's dangerous, man. It's real dangerous. Disable the buffs on this guy. Uh, sure. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> Stop attacking my witch. Oh, you bastard. It's gonna recover constantly for the next three turns. Which is just the worst. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to kill him in this one move, unfortunately. That's pretty rough. I could stun him. Hopefully. It's like he's gonna heal anyway, but at least he won't get his move. Oh. <laughs> of course you guard. Of course! Deus Vault! Exactly. If I had a Crusader, believe me, I would. Sweet miss, bro. Alright. Alright, now my dude can actually attack. I haven't been able to utilize the, the Rurouni here at all. Or, sorry, not Rurouni. The, the Ronin. Alright, let's, uh... You know, let's just throw a, uh, a mass heal. Sweetness. Alright. This might kill this dude. Yeah! That's a hit. That is a hit right there. Stop guarding! Just die! That's rude. Actually getting to the point where we're running out of mana, this is pretty dangerous. We're gonna be down to regular attacks here pretty soon. That's kinda scary. 
All right, my dude. You need to calm down. Ugh. I can't. Oh, there's no targets in range. Okay. Can't even heal. Ran out of mana. Feels bad, man. was a rough fight and all we got was one polluted food are you effing kidding me right now Ugh. all right we're at 80 percent completion rate so we could actually almost leave almost Seventy six out of eighty, which is not what you want to see, bro. You about to die? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, nah, we'll, we'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, so we're at seventy eight. We could actually start heading for the exit. Now you want to avoid these puddles. Okay, we didn't get. Hit, thankfully. Oh, fuck. Damn it! <laughs> well, we recovered all our health and all that, but... Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. This isn't that bad a fight. Th this is, like, the normal tough fight you see. So the fight that we got and the fact that we got through it... I'm impressed. Rude. This kind of sucks. Yeah, we're gonna have to move. Alright, this boy. Flick damage, forcibly move it. Miss. Come on, bro. Freaking kidding me. Yeah, these, uh, these little wormy boys are pretty annoying, but he did move us back up into position. The fool. And I <laughs> missed again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Not dying this time, Crusader. Okay. Yes, I know. Bad stuff. I know, I know. Okay. 
We don't have any keys. There's only like one item. But you know what? Let's just. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I should have just frozen time. The freaking Ronin hasn't had a chance to heal. No, don't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not okay. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Bro. Bro. Oh god, the reflected damage killed him! Oh! I regret everything! <laughs> Alright, well. Shit. <laughs> well, so much for my first Ronin. <laughs> Homie just couldn't hang. <laughs> that was pretty stupid of me, though. I shouldn't have, uh... I shouldn't have let that happen. Oh, well. You live and learn, and then you get loves. Huggies? No. What are those fucking diapers, though? Bleed'll kill that guy. <clears throat> what? Maybe the bleed can't kill him. Maybe that's a thing. I could have sworn I've seen things die from bleeding, though. Goodbye, Ronin. You won't be forgotten. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, yeah. Let's just... There you go. Freaking... This is our world, though. Oh, shit. I forgot that it teleports me. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you know what? We don't need the healing. There you go. We're hidden like that. Alright, let's GTFO. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Sorry, Ronan. My B, dude. Alright. Oh, look at the Shadow Blade snuggling up on that freaking... Thing. It was, I feel so bad for the Ronin. He died a death he shouldn't have died. Alright. Okay. Oof. Alright. Many life hours re uh, remain unlit. Crew members died. Many monsters remain. Okay. So the better or worse you do on a dungeon will change how this clock functions. Uh, this mysterious contraption is the Doomsday Clock. It visualizes the time remaining until the end of the world. Yay. The more monsters you defeat, light flowers you illuminate, and treasure chests and debris you open in the dungeon, the more time you save for adventuring. It's all, it's all good, Crusader. Uh, in addition, activities from town, expeditions, and battles also affect the movement of the Doomsday Clock. So if it gets all the way to the top, you're screwed, you're done, you're dead. If you fail to do your best throughout your journey, the Doomsday Clock will move faster. Uh, explore every nook and cranny of the dungeons as efficiently as possible and never give up. So yeah, we did pretty poorly in that dungeon. Mostly because I killed my Ronin. And I feel bad about that. I'm just... I'm all torn up about that. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Get some new people. Hey, look! A new Ronin! <laughs> uh, let's see... So there are reasons to get other members uh, of the same type of person. Werewolf! Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Anubis here. Um, let's see what Anubis can do. Wolf Claw. 
damage. Give one party member, excluding yourself, a 25% increase to their attack. Hmm. hmm. Okay. It's kind of a double-edged sword deal. Uh, inflict damage equal to 150% of your attack, and then you move them. Randomly move one tile in any direction. Oh, okay. Only if he's in the front, though. Beast Stroke, ladies. Uh, inflict damage equal to 200% of your attack. The lower your HP, the greater the damage. Okay, Onslaught. If your enemy is branded, inflict extra damage equal. Uh, I feel like he's got to have a move that... Uh, brands people, but... Maybe not... Ah, yeah. Wide swipe. That, uh, that brands them. It kinda sucks that he doesn't have that. <laughs> did you really fucking say Beast Stroke, please? <laughs> I did. I did, Crusader. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get Anubis. Uh, let's see... Don't need you. Should we get another Ronin and not learn our lesson? inflict continuous damage. So that's a bleed attack. Neat. Uh, and this will also brand them. Whoa, whoa, ladies. There's only one of me. <laughs> exactly. Crusader. You get it. Oh, we got a... Got a paladin named Jean. Jean. Annie. To her friends. Uh, this one's actually pretty cool. She doesn't have divine hands. Like if I could, I would, uh, I would swap shield bash with divine hands. I think that would be a pretty decent swap. But it is what it is. Uh, okay, what do you got? You got masochistic pleasure. Give party members in one column a shield that recovers damage with 25% of your MP. Give party members in one column a debuff that increases the chance of being attacked by 62%. That's not like super great. To be completely honest with you, but maybe I just don't uh, don't get it. All right, uh, okay, let's uh, see. Can we do? We can't do the training thing yet, so we'll skip that. Uh, let's go ahead and head up to the office. Let us report our results. Yes. Oh, not great. I lost a Ronin. Uh, 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 due to poor decisions. Yeah,、sure。<laughs> Don't say something like that with that serene ass smile. Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Crusader, that smug ass bitch. I love him. <laughs> hey, Mark, what up? You're in this game, Mark, did you know? I'll, I'll go talk to the guy after I'm done with this. <laughs> For real? <laughs> what the fuck, Crusader? <laughs> Uh, I've already shared my opinions on furries. その<笑><笑> So if you guys are familiar with Darkest Dungeon, you undoubtedly know of the narrator for Darkest Dungeon, Wayne June. Um, he is an amazing narrator. 
I love the work he does, and um, he's done audio recordings for books, like he's done stuff for H.P. Lovecraft, uh, and it's amazing. I feel like if he narrated this game, it would be great. That's it. That that's all I wanted to say on that. He's just he's just great. Ah, uh, Mark, I am well. Uh, where is my cut of the money? Because I never gave permission. <laughs> Well, sorry, Mark. I mean, if you didn't give your permission, obviously they're not going to pay you because they did it without your knowledge, so... Come on. Now who's foolish, Mark? Woo! Alright, so, uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Uh, so they want us to go to the ancient forest straggler hunting grounds on the hostile guardian's home. Okay, so that's, uh, defeating swamp worms and rotten beetles, and also collect flower roots. So it looks like the best place for us to go would be the ancient forest, but we're probably not gonna do that. Because I need to get more levels and gear and stuff. To court with them then! <laughs> yes, Mark. You, you go ahead. Well, we'll see. Once I talk to this guy, you can let me know the, how striking the likeness is for you. Sweet training camp, heck yes. That's where we level up abilities and learn new abilities. Rinkin Jutsu, what is this? Full Metal Alchemist? あいよの花をご存知かしら。霧の世界のあちこちで見られる花です。濃い霧の中でもまだ育っていない小さな花が時々見られますが、小さくほのかな光を帯びているのです。この花の周りには<笑> Those are not the laws of equivalent exchange exactly crusader. Exactly. How seldom do things actually go with that? Uh, how's you anyway? You gotten over your illness yet? Mostly, I don't feel contagious anymore. I'm still kind of stuffed up, as you can tell, probably by the sound of my voice. And the, <laughs> and the sniffing that I keep doing. But, uh, I feel better mostly. I'm like 80%. Nah, like 90, 90, like 94.6% done with being sick. Uh, so let's go to the training camp. Yo, 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 what it is, Adele? Adele is intently focusing on a report, but his face brightens when he sees you. After you tell him you've accepted his request, he breaks into a smile. Swamp he said it. He said, Commander Mark. この世に助けてくれと要請があるが、ここを放っていくことも you said you uh, pre-ordered Astroneer? By the by. マルク隊長も家族を失い酒に依存している今の状況では難しいんだ。それでだがお前らが霧の森にいるスワンプアームとロットンビートルを倒してくれないか手伝ってくれたらマルク隊長の大きな助けになるだろう。Alright, tutorial and the characters level up their abilities increase. At certain levels they will automate to receive jinx and co-op skills. Not in your shop yet? Ding dang bad. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, so if we've got two of the same class, which I don't think we do, actually. Alright, hang on. Let me, uh, before I end this whole episode, let me, uh, 
do this. Okay, it's the one that I wanted from you. Yes. Okay. So, in order to train someone for skill, you need to actually take your pre-existing character and have a skill from another character that you want to tr train them. Basically, you're having one paladin train another paladin in a skill, is how it goes. Um, or, like, one ronin and another ronin, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. So let's see here. Uh, we can unlock these if you have an SP point. SP points are used, or sorry, they are gained from uh, leveling up. We haven't done that yet, so, yeah. Uh, Mark, knowing my luck, we won't get it at all. That, see, don't fucking say that shit. <laughs> Makes me makes me sad. So we don't have any SP, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to freaking deal with it, man. All right. Uh, I believe no items to equip. Yeah, we did get some armor, so this will increase our HP, our evasion, and our gird. It's our guard. So we'll go ahead and throw that on. It'll help a, help a wee bit. Did we get anything for the witch? No. Nothing for the paladin. Nothing for you. We did get something for the shadow blade. So that'll increase the attack by 10 to 13. Give uh, hit chance and critical. Which is pretty neato. And we also got some armor as well. 60 extra armor. That's That's pretty good. Alright, so right now our Shadow Blade is officially our most powerful character. Um, unfortunately, the new armor and weapons don't show up on your character physically. I know, kind of a bummer. But, hey, it is what it is. Let's go by the shop, get some more food. This price will go up in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and get three of these. Uh... Didn't need him in the last one, but it's fine. Uh, I do have the armor for the Omioji. Stun specialty, weakened specialty. Uh, interesting. Alright, so let's see. What accessories do we have? Critical and minus two to speed, huh? Hmm. Stun specialties, weakened specialties. All right, you know what? Let's go to the alchemy workshop. We haven't been here yet. <clears throat> Tutorial. Sometimes the core crew will find items with blue or purple names. Such items contain hidden power. You can check what special qualities they have by using evaluate equipment at the alchemy shop. Evaluation requires mist. You can find it in treasure chests inside the dungeons. You can use fuse to improve your equipment by enhancing it with the attributes of other items. However, only one attribute will be randomly transferred per fusion. Fusion requires essence. You can obtain it from treasure chests or by disassembling equipment. Yo, what up? All right, let's see here. So we got two things that we can evaluate right now. They are both equipped. So let's see. Uh, we're definitely going to want to increase our Shadow Blade stuff. Weaken specialty. I don't think... I don't think our character even has weakened, but, you know, whatever. Oh, nice. Attack max. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do all these. <laughs> Crusader, she's so cute! I know, right? Silence resistance, pretty good. Silence resistance again. Okay, I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here. Yeah, I like the the alchemy shop uh, workers. They're pretty pretty freaking cute, man. All right, let's uh, give you sure. What the fuck is the little rabbit cat lion thing? It's um a thing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, not bad. Uh, I don't think we took a look at storage. It's exactly what you think it is. Yep, 
where's that guy? Oh, right, and Mark, here's here's your dude. This is Mark. I didn't really talk to him, but this is Mark. <clears throat> As you can see, spitting image for you. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, as far as the first look is concerned, uh, I think that'll do it for this episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Uh, I believe this game is $29.99 on the PlayStation Store. That's USD. So if you guys are interested in checking out this game, feel free. There is a demo available that is free and you can try out. It's like the first, you know, three hours or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah. I think the demo is pretty comprehensive as far as what you can expect from this game. Um, anyway, I will catch you all later. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on the stream, stick around. I'm going to keep playing.